Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Sportan here, and in today's design episode, we do have the brand new decal tendril. I think that's how you say it. I think this decal is actually really cool. It goes with a lot of dark themed car designs nicely, because again, with this decal, we have that automatic third color as black. But make sure to use code SPORTAN11 in the item shop, and if you haven't hit the subscribe button, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below to get up to date on my newest Rocket League videos. So let's get started with the first car design of the episode. Starting off, we do have the Cobalt Octane for the blue side. And then for the orange side, it is the Crimson Octane. For the decal, for both sides, it is the unpainted tendril decal. Now, this tendril decal is only for the octane. I forgot to mention that earlier. So, this decal is only for the octane. For the colors, for the primary for the blue side, we do have a dark blue. And then the accent as a brighter blue. And then for the primary for the orange side, we have a dark crimson. With the accent as a lighter crimson. For the wheels, for the orange side, they are the Glaives Inverted, painted crimson, and I hope I'm saying that right. And then for the blue side, they are the Glaive Inverted, painted cobalt. So this is the blue side. I chose these wheels because I think it matches the lines of the decal very nicely, and we have that automatic third color as black, so I can set that primary as a dark blue to match the wheels, and then the accent as a lighter blue to match when the wheels light up, and then we have that third color as black that's automatically on there, matches the dark themed of the wheels very nicely. And then for the orange side, we have that dark primary as the crimson, and then the accent as a lighter red to match whenever the wheels light up. And then with that third color as automatically black, it gets all three colors of the wheels perfectly. For the boost, for the orange side, we're going with my favorite dark themed boost with the crimson slash beam three for the orange side. And then for the blue side, we have the cobalt slash beam three. No topper, no antenna, no goal explosion, but for the trail, for the blue side, it is the unpainted Tachyon 3. And then for the orange side, it is the crimson Tachyon 3. So this is the orange side. Again, this decal really comes in handy with most of these designs with the color as automatically black. I really do like how Rocket League is starting to do that. Maybe next decal it will automatically be a different color instead of black, maybe like a blue or maybe a crimson. I think that would be pretty cool. But yeah, we have the dark red as the primary and then the accent as a light red matching whenever the wheels light up. And then with that third color as black, it gets all three colors of the wheels. And then for the blue side as that dark blue as the primary and then the accent as a lighter blue to match whenever the wheels light up and then with that third color as black boom you get all three colors of those wheels matching it perfectly so getting into the next car design we do have the blade wave inverted so starting off we do have the four screen octane for the blue side and then for the orange side it is the saffron octane for the decal for both sides it is the unpainted tendril decal and then for the colors, for the primary for the blue side, we have a forest green, and then the accent as black. And then for the primary for the orange side, we have a saffron, with the accent as black yet again. For the wheels, for the orange side, they are the blade wave inverted painted saffron. And then for the blue side, it is the blade wave inverted painted forest green. So this is the blue side, and you just know I had to put these blade wave inverted on here. The lines match so well, it was impossible not to include these wheels with this decal, with that forest green and black color combination, and then you just let the decal do the rest, with all the lines matching these wheels really nicely. And then for the orange side, again, I had to put these blade wave inverted, especially painted saffron. We have that saffron and black color combination. Can never go wrong with these colors together, by the way, just mentioning that, but you just let the decal do the rest with the lines matching the wheels perfectly, and it looks insanely awesome. For the boost, for the orange side, it is the Tachyon Painted Saffron, and then for the blue side, it is the Tachyon Painted Forest Green. No topper, no antenna, no goal explosion, but for the trail, for the blue side, it is Tachyon 3 Painted Forest Green. And then for the orange side, it is Tachyon 3 Painted Saffron. We stuck with the, you know, Tachyon feeling to keep the lines all together, especially with the boost and the trail. It matches these wheels and the decal very nicely. So this is the orange side. Again, I had to put these Blade Wave Inverted with this design. And that Saffron and Black color combination just looks so good. 
and then for the blue side we have the forest green and black color combination again you can't go wrong with that colors as well but you just let that decal take care of the rest and everything just matches perfectly so getting into the next car design we do have the io infinite wheels Switching up from the darker themed car designs from the first two because, you know, I don't want to do a whole episode on only dark themed car designs, so we decided to add a little bit more color. So starting off, we do have the sky blue octane for the orange side. And then for the blue side, it is the orange octane. Now one thing about these painted octanes, you can use the orange octane for the orange side if you want. I only did the sky blue octane for the orange side to match the accent color and same with the blue side. I have the orange octane for the blue side to match that accent color as orange. So it really doesn't matter, you can use the sky blue octane for both sides, the orange octane for both sides, it really doesn't matter, it's whatever you want. For the decal, we have the unpainted tendril decal for both sides. I'm actually not a big fan of the painted version of this decal. I think the unpainted one just works perfectly in my opinion. For the colors, for the primary for the blue side, we do have this blue. And then the accent as orange. And then for the primary for the orange side, we have the orange with the accent as blue. For the wheels, for both sides, it is the IO infinite wheels unpainted. Alright, so like I said, switching up from a, you know, non-dark themed car design, we have some color finally. So this is the blue side, and I think it's been a while since I've used the same colors for both sides, just, you know, switched up. I always like doing these types of car designs because they're really cool. So we have that primary as a light blue to match the outside part of the IO infinite wheels, and then the accent as orange to match the inside of the IO infinite wheels, and then that third color of black actually looks really good with these wheels because where the wheels aren't lit up, there is some black in them. And then this is the orange side, we're just switching the colors with the primary as orange to match the inside of the IO infinite wheels, and then the accent as blue matching the outside of the IO wheels, matching it really nicely as well. For the boost, for both sides we have the ion painted orange. I really wanted to match the inside part of the IO infinites. You can also use the ion unpainted for both sides if you want. No topper, no antenna, no goal explosion, but for the trail, for both sides it is the tachyon 3 unpainted to match the treads of the io infinite wheels so this is the orange side and i think this decal actually looks really good with these wheels especially when you just switch the colors with that primary as orange and then the accent as blue for this orange side and then for the blue side we're just switching it up with that primary as blue and then the accent as orange getting into the last and final car design of the episode we do have the mandala wheels so starting off, we do have the unpainted octane for the blue side. And then for the orange side, it is the pink octane. For the decal, for both sides, it is the unpainted tendril decal. And like I said, I really like the unpainted one better than the painted versions. For the colors, for the primary for the blue side, we have this really nice teal. And then the accent as white. And then for the primary for the orange side, we have a pink with the accent as white yet again. For the wheels, for the orange side, they are the pink mandala wheels. And then for the blue side, it is the unpainted mandala wheels. So this is the blue side. And I actually didn't think of these mandala wheels at first, but when I was trying to find the last design of this episode, I noticed it has all of the colors. This really nice teal color as the primary, then the accent as white, and then the third color as black with the lines matching perfectly and that third color as black is really nice because it's also barely in the wheels and it's also barely in the decal so you have the two main colors as the nice teal and then the accent as white and then that little bit of black in the wheels and in the decal it looks really good and then for the orange side again everything just matches we have that pink and white color combination and then that third color as black matching the wheels and the line on the wheels it matches it perfectly for the boost for the orange side we do have the radiant gush painted pink and then for the blue side it is the unpainted radiant gush no topper no antenna no goal explosion but for the trail for the blue side it is the tachyon 2 trail and then for the orange side, it is the Hackswerve 3 painted pink. So this is the orange side. Again, I really didn't think of these wheels at first until like last second. And I'm very happy I found them because they look amazing on this decal. And then for this blue side, I just really like this nice teal color as the primary. And then the accent as white with that third color as black. Everything just matches perfectly. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next episode.